and go. My husband is mad, and I don't know why. I will pray to God so he gets better. Oh, hey, messenger. Yo, where does Edith just live? Gotta find this guy. He lives here. This is his wife. I hope she's happy with her house and her new husband. Same to you. Now, where have you come? I have good news for you and your husband. What news? Who sent you? I'm from Cornish. People of Isthmus want Oedipus to be king. What happened to Polybus? He's dead in his grave. So you're saying Polybus is dead? If I'm lying, I should die. Servants, go get Oedipus. What up, sweet cheeks? That's <laughs> <laughs> what this man has to say. Who is he and what's the news? He has come from Corinth to announce your father is dead. Is it true? I can't say it any clearer. The king is dead. Uh, was he murdered or dead by illness? Little things bring old men to their rest. So it was sickness then? Yeah, plus he was old. They prof the prophecy said I'd kill my dad, but Phlebas is dead. Is Don't dead, and I'm here. Don't show. <laughs> you did, but my heart betrayed me. From now on, never think of those things again. And now I shouldn't fear my mom's bed. Why should anyone be afraid of sleeping with their mom since fate rules us and nothing can be foreseen? That's true if my mom wasn't alive, but she is. The news of your dad's death is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great, but I fear my mom. Who is this woman you fear? Uh, it's Merope, the wife of Polybus. Merope? Why are you afraid of her? An oracle of the gods, a dreadful saying. Can you tell me about it? No. I can and will. I'm supposed to kill my dad and marry my mom. Is this fear what made you leave Corinth? Did you want me to kill my dad? That's why you should be reassured by my news. If it reassured me, I would reward you. Well, I had that in mind. I thought you would return to Corinth. Nope, I won't go near my parents. Dude, you don't know what you're doing. What do you mean? Tell me. These are your reasons for not coming home. I told you I fear the oracle will come true. Not all of your fears are groundless. How can you say that? They are my parents, right? Believe this wasn't your father. Not my dad? Not your dad. You don't mean anything to me. Neither did he. Then why did he call me son? He got you from me as a gift. How did he love me then? He didn't have children, so he just turned to you. Did you buy me? Did you find me by chance? I found you in a, the crooked paths of Kithari. And what were you doing there? Tending my flocks. A wandering shepherd? But your savior son that day. What did you save me from? Your ankle should tell you that. Why do you speak of that childhood pain? I cut the bonds that tied your ankles together. I've had those marks forever. That's why your name means bear. Was it my mom or my dad? Who did? Tell me. I don't know the guy who gave you to me. I couldn't tell you either. It wasn't you who found me? It was another shepherd. Who was he? Can you tell me? I think he was Laos's people. You mean the king here years ago? Yeah. Is he still alive? Can I see him? Ask that guy. Does anyone know the shepherd? It's the same shepherd. Don't ask it, you cops. Uh, do you know anything about this man, lady? Why are you asking him? Forget everything. How can you say that when the truth of my birth is at stake? No more questions. My own pain is hard enough to bear. Don't worry. Suppose my mom is a slave and no baseness can touch you. Listen to me. Don't do this. I won't listen. The truth must be known. Everything I say is for your own good. My own good? Then I want none of it. You're wrong. May you never learn who you are. Go, one of you. Get the shepherd. Leave this chick to brag her royal name. Ah, miserable. That is the only word I have for you now. That is the only word I can ever have. Done. <laughs>